So here, this is basically imitating the button that we have in our car because I could actually play it there. Okay, so when you go into staging lanes, you got your okay, you got your first pre-stage light. That's when the first, the beginning part of the tire breaks the beam. Okay, when you have your stage light on, that's when your whole entire uh, tire is actually breaking the beam of the um, car. And so when that happens, okay, this is where I'm zoning in that top yellow bulb. Okay, now I'm gonna have to do it with both of them. All right, so whenever I do that, okay, I'm sitting there in my car with the trans brake button on, and as soon as I see that light come off, that's what I want to, I, that's where I want to gauge my reaction time, okay? So for example, let me practice with this side right here, okay? Okay, so I would come off the button, and as you can see, okay, my reaction time would have been a 003, which is trip zip, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. 003 is really good. I like to be double O a lot. <laughs> so um, anyway, but this right here is what you're actually focusing in on. The green light is where the timer in your delay box is actually counting out and letting you release your car when that green light's on. Now here's the thing. What's funny about this is that usually your car is traveling almost or it's beginning to start traveling before that green light ever comes on because that it's when you know that you've had a good reaction time. What I try to do whenever I leave the starting line, I try to look at the green light as I'm leaving because I can kind of gauge and tell what kind of reaction time that I've had. If I've had a bad one, mm -hmm. then I know I'm in trouble, okay? If I've had a really good one, then I know that that race, I'm in control of the race more or 